guys, Gypsy Wolf, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to share this video. I'm going to share my newest recipe on how to make hot foot powder. I'm going to explain what it is, how you can use it, and I know I've made a video or two on how to make this, but I tweak it every time I make it, depending on what I need it for. And you know, as we grow and learn as witches, we do tend to make things a little bit differently each time. And this most recent batch that I made worked within less than 20 minutes. Yes, that's how amazingly it worked. It was like Harry Potter, yeah. I always say magic is in Harry Potter, but <laughs> it kind of was. Um, okay, so hot food powder is one of the oldest that I know of hoodoo powders that um, has been used. It is used to send somebody away, okay? So whether it's someone that came into your home, someone that's in your workspace, it, there could be a multitude of reasons, okay? A multitude of places that you don't want someone and that's when this can be used and it can be used in a multitude again of ways so i'll go into the ways that it can be used but like i said this is to drive someone out of your space so for me i needed it to get someone out of my home and <laughs> It worked within like 10 to 15 minutes. Beautiful. It's best to, to, uh, made during a waning moon, if you can, or um, and or on a Tuesday or Saturday, if you can. But when you need it, you need it. I made it on a Thursday on a waning moon, you know? It is what it is. When you need it, you need it. All right, so here's what you're going to need to make hot foot powder. Um, I always like to have my protective candle lit because even though this powder is not to hurt anyone, like we can even wish them well. Like we can send the energy to them saying that, you know, I hope that you move on to a better space, a better home, a better job, a, a better spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it may be. There might still be that animosity with the inside of you that you just can't get rid of no matter how hard you try so you want to make sure that you can control that and a lot of times it's hard so you want to have your protective candle lit i always use black that's just what works for me but you can use white you can use guardian angel candle whatever i also always use a piece of black tourmaline if I feel it's needed, that absorbs even more extra negative energy. So those I'm adding to this. You will need a mortar and pestle or a coffee grinder if you're a more modern day witch. Make sure if you use a coffee grinder, have a separate one that you use just for magical purposes. Get one, you know, on an estate sale, yard sale, Craigslist, whatever. Um, but yeah, okay. So let me show you what you're going to need. Now I do use for this a mask and gloves because I have bad asthma and allergies and these things you don't want to get on your hands because if you forget to wash them, you touch your face or your eyes, oh God, bad news, trust me. Even with the mask, I end up sneezing a lot. Okay, and so I have everything in the basket here. And the first thing that you absolutely need, because there are necessary things and things that are optional, okay? I'll show you what you need first to make a very basic batch. Um, and then what I add is an extra punch, okay? All right, so the first thing you're going to need is good old fashioned salt. I like sea salt, but you can use regular, like whatever salt you've got, no problem. Okay, the next thing is, again, good old fashioned black pepper, black pepper. The next is cayenne pepper. The following now you can use chili powder, but 
I wasn't able to find mine when I made this current batch and I ended up using my dried chili peppers and emptying the seeds into the batch and kind of grinding up, you know, the dried chili pepper in with it. And because this worked so beautifully, I added it to my recipe and I'm gonna keep it that way. Now, if you have those four things, you're good to go and that's all you need, okay? But if you wanna take it up a notch, here's what we're gonna use. I like to use a bit of sulfur powder, graveyard dirt. Now, here's the thing with graveyard dirt. If you do not know, if you are not knowledgeable on how to collect it properly and safely with respect and all of that, do not do it. Don't bother obtaining it just just don't do it i'm telling you don't do it until you've done plenty and plenty and plenty of research read books and just don't do youtube read books okay they're there for a reason <laughs> um but if you feel that you want to add that element of death you can collect some dirt maybe on the outskirts of a graveyard, but just be careful, it's far enough away from the spirits, okay? And then the last thing I use that I know not everybody's gonna have, um, I found this large piece, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but it's a large wasp nest piece. I used a little bit of that. Any type of stinging insect, uh, like whether it's it, like a dead bee that you grind and you dry it up, you know, a spider that bites it dried up, you know, one of these nests or, you know, a spider web that's a spider that, you know, bites, whatever. Save those things. I know it's gross, but they come in handy. Trust me, they do. Um, and they're great for things like this. Okay, so... I'm going to put a few things on my side here, and let's construct this. Now, guys, real quick, I'm going to try and keep this short. Um, when I hit 250, or sorry, 2,500 subscribers, I will be doing a massive giveaway. When I did my last one, it was really huge. Even as the lady that got that one, like, it was a massive amount of stuff. So, this will be included, this batch of hot powder will be included in that giveaway, all right? This will be the first thing, because I'm going to be doing a series of videos, hopefully, you know, health, you know, allowing me to on different oils and powders and really diving into especially oils. And by the time I'm done and hopefully hit that number, I will be able to send out enough that gives you a full, full witchy arsenal. I mean, full out. Like you won't have to buy anything for yours, okay? But in order to be entered into that giveaway, you need to be subscribed to my channel. You need to like and comment on some of the videos since from now here on out, okay? So I will mention these things in other videos. So as long as you like my videos and you comment here and there and you are subscribed, you will be entered into this giveaway. I put everybody's name aside. Okay? All right. I'm going to shut up now about that. But you'll be happy if you win. Trust me. Okay. So, I'm going to get my gloves on. Now, because you can't really get a beehive nest in powder. You really can't. Um, but you don't need a lot. I put some, I already ground some up the best I could put it into there. Now, um, if you need a large batch, you know, if you need it to go a long ways, 
Um, it's very common you can use uh, something like arrowroot powder to mix it with. It's very common to use talc powder back in the day for it, but we all know now that that is toxic. Um, so I like to use arrowroot powder, which is probably what I'll do with this once um, I'm done making it and once I, you know, start really charging it on my altar, things like that. Um, so that way when I send it out, there's a good amount for whoever wins the giveaway. All right, so we've got that. Let me take off my glasses. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing, but my glasses fog up. Hopefully you can hear me underneath this mask. All righty, here we go. Now, as we make this, if there was somebody in mind that you were trying to get rid of, you want to see the back of their, the back of them, especially the back of their head, especially the back of their head, walking away from wherever it is that they are that you want them gone from, okay? So continually think about that as you are making this powder. It's very important. And any animosity that they have brought you, any anger, any you know, discomfort, just, you know, all the crap that they have been bringing to your life, put all that frustration into this as you're grinding. And you're going to want to grind in a counterclockwise motion because when we do counterclockwise, we are sending something away. Clockwise is bringing something in. So we are going to start with just good old fashioned salt. And I only have um, coarse sea salt, but whatever. So I'm, you know, and if you were doing this just to have a batch of it, that's okay. Make it and when it comes time to be used, when you do have a use for it, you will take the amount that you need and you will charge it for that purpose. Put it, you know, in a little bowl, whatever it is, you know, take it to your altar and charge it. If you want to call on your deities, your ancestors to assist you, feel free to do so to help charge it, consecrate it, and do what you need it to do. Think about the person that you want to send away. Because it is a good thing to just have. Because you never know when you're going to need it. Okay. So, we did the salt. And the next that we're going to use is good old fashioned black pepper. And I don't do measurements, guys. I just, you know, pour it in. You can do black peppercorns if you want. If you really enjoy that feeling of grinding things, and it helps you get your anger out. Which sometimes for me it does. Go away. Anything this powder touches, any person this powder touches, will remove themselves from my space. Be going. Add a little more of this black pepper. I feel like it needs a little more. Just follow your intuition when it comes to how much of everything you add. Okay. I'm going to add our cayenne pepper next. Okay. Now, some people like to add paprika as well. And that, yeah, that's a good one to use too if you would like. A lot, I also see a lot of people, however, using cinnamon. I don't like using cinnamon. It is a skin irritant, however, 
It's an herb that is so commonly used for drawing money, and it's used in things like for baking that are sweet. I don't want to use anything sweet in this. There's nothing sweet about what I'm trying to do. I want you to get the F out of my space so I don't use it. Okay, cayenne pepper's done. Now, depending on how much you're making, you take your dried chili pepper, okay? And I am pouring, oh, wow, that's a lot of seeds, okay. In there. Yeah, these are hot. This is when I definitely need my <laughs> my mask. And like I said, you can use the skin of these chilies if you would like. Which I'm gonna use a little bit. In my last batch, I already used the whole one, but you know, for the sake of the time of the video, I'm not trying to go crazy here. I can always add more when I'm finishing it up to go into the giveaway goodie bag. All right. Again, we are thinking about removing this person from our space. Give it a good grind. You take as long as you need with the grinding, guys, okay? I'm just trying to go kind of quickly here. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of sulfur. You can also use acetate, also called double stone. Um, that's a really good botanical to use for negative workings, but I feel like that might be a little too volatile for something like this because we're not trying to harm anybody. So I'm just using a little bit, as you can see. So I'm just mixing that in and putting in my intention. I like how it turns a really pretty kind of reddish brown shade. I don't know. I like the colors that things turn into when using herbs and botanicals. I find it interesting. All right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna use a little bit of my graveyard dirt, not much, because I don't have a lot left and I've moved since getting this dirt and it's from a specific grave. My guy's name is George. <laughs> <laughs> long story but he he was a character and I love him and uh, he's a good protector he's a very good protector so anybody that gets his chatter they're going to be getting a lot of protection from him so I'm just adding a little pinch there we go close that on up Like I said, if you guys want to see a video, and I can make it pretty quick on how to safely um, obtain things from graveyards, cemeteries, let me know um, how to collect dirt from different sacred areas. Alright, and I'm calling on George. I call on your mind, body, and spirit especially your spirit to aid anyone that uses this and to send away the person that they use it upon. Let them go peacefully without any fighting or animosity. And then last but not least, we're going to add that little bit of beehive or the wasp nest. 
so I mean fall would be a good time for you guys to look for wasp nests, beehive nests, things like that. Um, you know, once it gets cold. You know, pay attention to where you see these bees, where they go, and then when you don't see them coming out of those areas any longer, you know, do your digging and, and get some because they're really amazing in spell work. I mean, it made all the difference in this batch for me. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there for now. Now, whew, good thing I put on this mask because I'm about to sneeze even with it on. All right, so some of the ways you can use this. The way I used my last batch, the only way I was able to like, really use it um, without having to use candle magic. Um, I put some of the powder inside a small mojo bag and I slid it underneath where they were spending uh, most of their time, like on a couch, it's where they were sleeping at the time and also just spending all their time for the most part. So that's how I did it, which you can do. You can put it under the bed or under a chair that they're in very frequently. You can put it, uh, like just sprinkle a little bit where they're going to walk. But here's the thing, you don't want to do that if somebody else is going to walk that path because you don't want the wrong person to walk across it, right? Right. You can sprinkle a little bit in your shoes. That's a really, really good way to use it. And then one of the oldest ways to use it is uh, their footprint. You sprinkle a little bit on there. What I would do is dig up their footprint, put it in a plastic bag, put some of the hot foot powder in there, seal it up, and then I would shake it and tell it what I want. Like, you will leave, you will be gone, so-and-so, so-and-so, okay? So, um, and then the last one, if you can't get close, like, do any of that, you would take a small black candle, like a black chime candle or whatever, type of black candle you have. You would inscribe their name and date of birth on it and anoint it with, you know, just some olive oil or whatever and your hot foot powder. And you would burn that down and you would sit in front of it and visualize them going away. All right? Okay, so that's how you make it my way. And like I said, this worked within between 10 and 20 minutes. So when I say it works, it works. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer. No, there are no substitutions, but like I said, you can omit the graveyard dirt, the sulfur, and the wasp nest. I did explain what you can use in replacement of the wasp nest. Okay, but if all you have is salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and chili pepper, or uh, chili, you know, peppers, whatever, that works beautifully too. It's all about your intention. I'm sorry that this was such a long video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet, but I also really like to explain everything to you guys so you know exactly why you're making these things, how to do them, and how to use them, you know? I don't want to half-ass anything with you guys. All right, so, like I said, if you want to be entered into that giveaway, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment on some of my videos, and I will be doing a good amount of videos coming up on different oils. If you have any requests on powders, oils, or spells that you want to see me do, please let me know because I know I've been not make, uh, doing many uh, spell videos and I would really like to start getting back into that, but I need to know what you guys want to see because I don't want to just put something out that nobody wants to see, okay? All right, guys, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful holiday 
And as always, blessed be. And I can't wait to see you again. Bye.